as you can see, looks 100%. Great, so it looks <laughs> great. Hey there guys, it is Mason, and today I'm here with my friend, Chelsea. Hi. We thought it'd be pretty fun to make rainbow bagels, because that- Bagels. Bagels, bagels, how do you guys bagels. say it? Put it in the comment section below. I think it's gonna be pretty. Darn good. It's gonna be lit. <laughs> Hello, uh, no. Let's let's get into the video. <laughs> so for this project, you're going to need pizza crust. Look at that. We only use two in the whole project, but you can buy three. Yep. And then you're gonna use some gel food coloring. We have six different colors. Look at those. Yeah. And then we use two eggs for egg washing the bagels later. And then look at that cream cheese. So delicious. Yum. And then we put sprinkles in it. We use two different kinds. And then we use all purpose flour. Don't forget about the disposable gloves, most important part. Ooh, and yeah, the wax paper. That was really important too. Okay, bye. <laughs> the recipe we are using for this video is from Spoon University. I saw on Snapchat, like this place in New York had rainbow bagels and then it went like viral and now people are making rainbow bagels and we're gonna try and make them ourselves and taste test them for you see how good they are so the first thing you're gonna do is open up is that how you do it right I'm scared yeah um since we're cheap we just oh god oh my god <laughs> The first thing you need to do for this recipe is get gloves because you don't want to dye your fingers. And you're gonna open up your doughs and you're gonna put them into each individual bowl. And since we have six different colors of dyes, we have six separate bowls. And I'll show you guys at a different angle in a minute. No, we don't. They're seals, like. Oh, oh guys, this is a struggle. <laughs> we should have done this before. Oh god. But light right there. It's like so lit. Lit. Literally, Jesus behind us. So for the second step, after you put the colors in, all you do is you mix in the colors. What are we using? We can't even do it. That's okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah. So we need gloves again. Don't want your little dirty hands to get on that wherever you put them. It's not working. What do you mean? It's literally like not mixing it. It's so hard to do with gloves. You just want to go hand free. I'll just do it. I already Honestly, washed my hands. Same. Yeah, my hands. Maybe we need to put more dye. It's not like... I did! Oh my god. I know that's what I was saying. We'll be back. <laughs> It is about 45 minutes later, and we just got done. Yeah, we just got done, like mixing them all. And I would recommend using gloves. I even put that in the needed supplies, but the gloves we were using. It didn't really work. Yeah, it didn't work. So we just got done. So we're about to set them all out, and you'll see that in a second. Here's Mason. Oh my God, this is like working way better. <laughs> He's rolling out the dough as flat as possible. And then we're gonna stack them on top of each other. This is the one that's like working out way better. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> you just jinxed it. Yeah, seriously though. Here's our purple stack. There, it's, it looks pretty good. And we just gotta keep one. stacking the colors away. Voila. So 10 hours later, it's taking forever. Okay, that worked out way better. Okay, that okay. was good. Look at my hands. <laughs> great. You have to like tw twist, twist it. <laughs> no, 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 like, <laughs> yeah, like that, yeah, like that. And just like smush it together. I'm actually a really good um, baker. <laughs> it's my hidden talent. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, looks 100%. Great. So it looks great. <laughs> it looks so flowery. Dude, it's fine. It looks good. Do you have like Pam spray? Pam, where you at? Oh, Pam. Just a little, just like spread it all over. That's, that's all you need. That was too much. Just a little bit. So we have finished rolling them and everything. So the last step before you bake them is just to do a coat of egg wash. Fun stuff. Now you cook them for 15 minutes or until they're golden brown. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even tell. Right. Oh, we didn't even preheat the oven. Oh, shit. <laughs> 
Make sure you guys preheat the oven before you do this. <laughs> what? What's the 375. <laughs> and then you just wait until God has risen up his bagels. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Well, they're gonna go in the oven and we'll see you guys after they're done. Holla. They're... <laughs> Form, but um, here are the bagels. They look great. Wow. So there they are. What do you think of them? They're a little deformed, but Ugh. that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. And you know what we have to do now? Try them. No, we have to make the cream cheese. Oh, I'm just kidding. We need to do that and then oh. try them. Maybe I'm just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so I just cut it and oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> That looks so cool. Dude, that looks cool. Oh my god, it looks like tie-dye. It's like so freaking hot because we just like... I'm sorry for my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look how freaking cool that is. Whoa. Dude, that looks cool. Here's the um, <laughs> sprinkle cream frost. cheese with frosting. It looks like vanilla ice cream with oh, sprinkles. It's cream Wait. cheese with sprinkles. Did I say cream cheese with ice cream? You said cream cheese with frosting. <laughs> this is cream cheese with sprinkles. It looks like vanilla ice cream with sprinkles, but it's really not. It's spreading so strange. Really? Like it won't stay on because it's so hot. Now that we have finished frosted, uh, frosting, it's literally cream cheese. Cream cheese. And sprinkles. But look, my bagel kind of broke. But it looks so freaking cool. Look at those. Whoa. It looks like it would be something sweet to Super eat, sweet, but it's not going But to. it's not. It's, it's literally, literally just, like just a, a bagel. A plain bagel that's colored. Um, let's try it now, and then I'll tell you guys the whole roundabout of this video. Okay. Oh my god. It's actually really good. This is really good. The cream cheese and the sprinkles make it taste really good. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. So after doing this whole process of making the rainbow bagels, it said in the directions that it said 15 minute prep time, 15 minute cook time. No, not at all. It took like almost two hours to do this. Uh, most of the time instructions like <laughs> say it takes shorter amount of times. But don't listen to them. No, not this true. took way too long. They look freaking cool. They like, look cool, yeah. Look at this. Like that is insane and you cut them open and they're freaking colorful. It's focusing on my face. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I would definitely recommend to try this because it's so freaking fun. And it to actually do. tastes really good too. Yeah. But I don't think I'm ever gonna do this again. Same. Because it's like just, just too time consuming unless you have that much time. Yeah. Then I recommend you doing it. Yeah, for sure. So if you guys did enjoy this Rainbow Bagel DIY video of doing it yourself, <laughs> make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, right, Chelsea? And subscribe. A blue thumb, yeah, and subscribe. <laughs> Colorful <laughs> hands, yeah. And all of my social media links would be down below, so make sure you guys check follow those out. Him. Yeah, and I'll put your Twitter down there if you want to see too. it. So yeah, go follow, follow her me. and thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye! Bye. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end. Uh, while I was filming this video with my friend Chelsea, there was just some hilarious parts that I thought I would take out, but put them in the end for bloopers. So enjoy it. Bye. The second thing you're gonna need is various color. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> From Spoon University. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> I just like died on the inside when you said that.